European Individual Close Championship 2023. Lauren Baltayan, uh, women's quarterfinal. Lauren Baltayan from France to serve. Nella Gillis from Belgium to receive. Best of five games. Level. So, squash fans, we're back for our penultimate quarterfinal. And out. One lap. Running a little behind, just about 10 minutes behind schedule as a result of some longer matches earlier on. But thrilling nonetheless, we've enjoyed them. But this, Two lap. on paper, is a bit of a David and Goliath situation. Nelly Gillis on her squash journey. Number seven in the world at the moment. He's looking to knock on the door of the top five or better of the next season. And who would bet against it? Three lap. He's looking sharp. She was saying yesterday she's really happy with how training's gone in the off-season. Really relishing the idea of adding a second title here. Won the competition, 2019. So it is for love. And then after a hiatus for COVID, lost to her sister, Tinegillis, in the final. So, sure she would love to become one of only a few players that have won this title more than once. And a uh, few would bet against that happening. And out. But One, four. There's a couple of French players, at least, in the way of that happening. And our opponent, Lauren Baltian, France, will have plenty to say about what's going to play out here. Currently ranked 105 in the world, so nearly 100 places below Nelly Gillis. Hand out. 5-1. 6 one. So Gillis has settled quickly and racked up six points for opponent. Hasn't really settled, but I'm pretty sure that's partly down to her opponent not giving the opportunity. But that's a beautiful, beautiful shot. Gillis Two, six. acknowledges that by tapping a racket. Just rolled the racket across the ball. So, girl's got skills. That was a good target. Three six. So, good couple of points there from Lauren. Hand out seven three. And that's just squeezed out. And out. So Four, a couple seven. of bits of success pushing Gillis into that backhand corner there. That's 
squeezes out of the joint at the front, but no detriment. Rally continues. Focus seems to be down this backhand wall at the moment for both players. A little drop from Gillis, the counter drop, neither particularly good. But that lob Hand out. dies away at the back. 8 4. And the lob from the drop, whilst technically a defensive shot, can often, if played well, lead to a devastating winner. Gillis there trying to lob her opponent into the back corners both sides. And Lyon, the third time into that back corner, unable Nine to retrieve. Four. And Gillis moves on to a five point lead in this first game. Should be good experience for Lauren against arguably one of the best players in the world right now. And out. Five nine. Out. Lauren trying to lob herself, but it just Hand sneaks out. out. Ten five game ball. Five game balls for Nelly Gillis of Belgium. Eleven That's five. too good. Game to Gillis. Gillis leads one game to love. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Gillis leads, one game to love. Love all. So we're back pretty quickly. Players not taking their fully allowed two minutes. About half of that. So. One lap. For Lauren, really should have taken the full two minutes, even if not just to upset the momentum. But she obviously just wanted to get on with it. Gillis stayed on court during that break. Apologizes to her and opponent for that slightly fortunate shot. And out. To all. So it's okay, it's okay, thank you. The courageous and dive and there. Out. Three, two. Lauren 
unable to get the ball, but maximum effort. You can see that Gillis loves using that drop. Uh, sorry, the lob. It's been a long day. Forgive me. Personally, one of my favourite shots, the lob, not only to give you time to recover, but played well. Cause your opponent all out. sorts of problems. Three, four. It's often the right shot at the front, playing a counter drop if you can't clear the ball, can often lead to a stroke, so. Out. For all. We've already seen Gillis is a expert practitioner of the shot, so for anyone watching on how to do that. But up. Probably couldn't and see out. a better example. Five four. Six four. Down there, just Seven, too four. good. Punishing anything that's loose at the moment. Baltian dispatching it that time down the forehand wall. And this time, eight four. A gentle drop. Nine four. And I think it's fair to say that nobody really expected Gillis to be tested in this match, but. You never know. It's a nice shot. 10-4. Yeah. Left box, please. Gillis making the court pretty big for the French girl. Game ball. And once again, the game ball comes up in quick time. And this time, Ron continues the rally. Getting the cross court. Eleven four. Goes for the shot. Game to Gillis. Into Gillis the ten. Two games to up. Well, it looks like Gillis is going to go off court this time. Coming up, of course, after this one, or well, not straight after. It depends how long it goes on. At seven o'clock, our time here. I guess GMT plus one. Got the final match of the day, an all French affair. And when I say all French, it will be all French. The referee is going to be French. And we have the number one seed, Victor Gruen. World number eight, up against a fellow countryman, Edwin Klein. So hang around for that one. And of course, tomorrow we'll be on to semi finals day where in the men's it's going they to be in 60 seconds. France versus Switzerland in both semi final matches. So, exciting prospect there of maybe an all Swiss final. That would be a first. An all French final wouldn't. The French pretty much dominated this competition since its inception back in 2004. Play will resume in uh, 30 seconds.
Gillis leads two games to love. Level. So, can Gillis make short work of this? As she has done in the first two. Well, the first Good point luck. would suggest so. Three shots and a point on the board. <laughs> well, she's retrieving well, Lauren. Hand out. 1 0. So, Gillis stopped there, but you get a uh, no let situation by the looks of things. Wow, she's got to it, but not. <laughs> Hand out to one. Well, fair play to Lauren. She's fighting as hard as she can on there. And Gillis is making that court extremely, extremely big. At that and time, two, three. it's the French girl that had the Belgian running around all over the court. Oh, it's a beautiful lob. I don't think that's coming back. It is. It's off the back wall. It is coming back. Is it coming back this time? It is. It is coming back. What about this time? <laughs> Hand out. <laughs> no, a third time Hard was a uh, bridge too far. <laughs> Whip cross court. And out. Fist pump. Three, four. From Baltian. She's not done yet. She's got points to win. And that's good work there from both girls, just cutting out the lofted ball. Well, not up. it was a nice idea from Baltan with the long drop, but Five, three. she's played that shot better before. So Gillis, there's a couple of points clear. Six, three. All right, the champion she is, she's looking now to close this out. No work is done. Booking a place Seven, three. in the semi-final. Uh, assuming she does. Oh, it's a counter drop situation in the corner there. Oh, look at that. That's a great shot. And out for seven. This girl's not done here yet. Don't write the name in the next round just yet. That's in the tin. And out. A little bit frustrated. Could have been nice, that one. Eight, four. But yeah, the uh, winner of this playing Maria Stefan, who has had some epic five set matches in the last two days. But she's enjoyed them. And sort of uh, seems to have got better the longer they've gone on. Oh my God, that's a great dive. <laughs> Nine four. Unfortunately, 
someone once pointed out to me years ago, how many points have you won from the dive? You might get the ball, but can you get the next one? That's the, that's the problem. Anyway. Well played, volleying that. Needs a volley, which is in no man's land now, Lauren. Oh, and she puts it straight down. And out. Five nine. Straight down the forehand wall. Nelly Gillis applauding that. That was good hands. Good thinking. And, and out. Ten five. Match ball. Five match balls. The Belgium's Nelly Gillis to take one step closer to another title in the European Individual Championships. And there it is. 11 five. Just too good. Match to Gillis, free the girls smile. 11 five. What a great 11 match. Four, 11 five. Let's go and have a chat with her. Let's see what she thinks about that. Nelly Gillis, come and talk to me. You've done it again. Well done. That was very quick. Have you got an appointment or something? No, I'm... No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was... Um, obviously, it was really tough for your opponent there. You, were, you, you made the court very big for her. Um, one step closer to another title. And is it in the back of your mind that there's very few players that have won this title more than once? Unless they're French. But you could put yourself in the history books if you could win it a second time. I have not thought about that once, actually. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have put that in your head. <laughs> it's not in my head. I mean, I just take it match by match and see how it goes, but yeah. <laughs> As you said, this is really just a good warm-up for Paris, but um, you've got a French player tomorrow, Maria Stefan. She's been, she's been, she's had a lot of court time. Let's just put it that way. Are you, are you aware of her situation? Five sets yesterday, another five sets today. Are you going to put pay to that tomorrow in the semi-final? Yeah, I'm very aware. Um, I'm definitely going to use it and make it very tough for her. <laughs> um, yeah, me and Marie go way back. We've played all three juniors together. We've played lots of finals together. So to be in the semi-finals of the Europeans um, against one of my junior rivals is, is pretty special and. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be amazing. Congratulations once again. Ladies and gentlemen, Nelly Gillis.